The Y2K panic was not really about technology. It was about control. Back in the late 90s, there was a widespread fear that the year 2000 was going to bring about massive computer errors because of a programming error where the date was stored as two digits instead of four. This could cause all kinds of problems, from planes crashing to banks collapsing. But the real reason for the panic was the growing unease with how much power these computers were giving to the people who made them. For the first time in history, a significant portion of the world's infrastructure was controlled by computers that were essentially unreadable by humans. And this was seen as a huge risk as we were entering a new century. The solution, of course, was to replace these computers with new ones that were more open and transparent. But this wasn't just a technical issue. It was a political one as well. The people in charge of maintaining these systems were the same ones who created them, and they had a vested interest in making sure that nothing went wrong. So as the year 2000 approached, the pressure was on to fix these problems before it was too late. 